why would anybody buy a home in a heated market? So this is something I see a lot of in the comment sections of real estate articles and blogs and social media posts, but it's also a question that I've been getting a lot. And the truth is, not everybody should buy a home in a market like this one, but there's one big reason why they do. Life happens. Now before I get into this, if you like this video and you want to see more, please click the like and subscribe to my channel. I post two videos a week on YouTube about the Halifax real estate market and buyer and seller tips. Also, if you want to book a call or a meeting with me anytime, you can do so in my Calendly link below at a time when it's convenient for you and the link is in my description. So life happens and the market is ruthless and the market waits for nobody. So although it's been extremely hot over the past two years, life does not stop for consumers. So here's a few reasons why people buy homes in this market, just to give you an idea. So reason number one, buying your first home. So yes, the real estate market is extremely hot, but so is the rental market. And I heard a line the other day that really made me chuckle. I was watching a podcast um, with some friends of mine in BC and Ontario. Shout out Steve and Tom. But they said something along the lines of, if you're paying rent, your interest rate is 100%. And it's so true because if you're paying rent, you're not putting any money back into your own pocket. And although the real estate market is extremely hot, so is the rental market. But at least if you buy a home and you're paying even a high interest rate like we're seeing right now, you're still putting money back into your pocket as an investment. And over the past two years, I've seen a lot of first time home buyers hesitant to make a move from a rental to a home because what we've been seeing in terms of price and in terms of what we've been seeing in terms of the interest rates. And the reality is while they've hung on in those rentals for an extra year or two, that's a lot of equity they could have built if they pulled the trigger a year or two ago and equity they built in terms of price point, but also paying back money into their own pocket from their mortgage. And when it comes to mortgages, the reality is this, you're always paying somebody's mortgage. It's just a matter of if it's your own mortgage or your landlord's mortgage. So reason number two, people need more space. I see this especially in growing families. I'm 31, so a lot of my demographic that I'm working with on the regular is buying their second home or maybe they're moving from their first condo to a home now. Uh, maybe now they're married, maybe they're about to have kids. And think of it this way, if you're a young couple who's in a 500 square foot condo or maybe even an apartment looking to buy your first home and now you're married, your first child's on the way and it's a one bedroom condo, should you really wait to time the market? It just doesn't make sense in real life, unfortunately. So reason number three, and this is the flip side of number two, people need less space. So oftentimes as people age, they simply cannot handle the home that they're in. And unfortunately, sometimes health changes very quickly as people age as well. So sometimes they can hold on another year or two if they want to, but the reality is sometimes it's simply not an option to stay another couple months in the home they're currently in. So downsizing is another thing I'm seeing in the marketplace for sure. And while a lot of these people are going to apartments, so it's not necessarily buying a home, it's still forcing them to make a move. And a lot of them still are downsizing to a smaller home, like from a two story to a bungalow, for example. So number four is divorces. So it's an unfortunate reality of today's world that marriages do end. So sometimes they're gonna sell the home they're in and both partners will look for a home or maybe a rental. Uh, but oftentimes one partner will buy another one out and it will result in one person looking for a home. But if not, it might result in both of them looking for a new home. If you're trying to time the real estate market, I'm telling you that you're gonna be waiting for a very long time. It is literally impossible to do. Yes, you can make informed decisions, and yes, I have an idea of where I think I'm gonna see the market go from this point forward, as most industry professionals do, but the reality is nobody has a crystal ball and nobody can see into the future of exactly what the market's gonna look like three, five, or 10 years from now. To put it into perspective, in 2021, a lot of buyers were hesitant to make a move because the market was so hot. However, it's $119,000 more to buy a home today than it was this time last year. So while a lot of buyers waited it out, other buyers pulled the trigger and now they're sitting on a lot of equity in just a year's time. And honestly, if you told me this time last year that we would have been up 25% year over year, I would have disagreed with you. I think I projected about nine or 10% growth this year. So as of right now, I am very far off that mark for my start of the year predictions. No matter when you're looking to buy a home, you should always, always, always hire a professional. It is in your best interest to make sure you can make an informed decision based on what's happening in the market at that current time and where we think things are trending. Trending. And if you've made it this far, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future content. And thanks so much for watching. And until next time, have a great day.